Hello everyone, welcome to my other video and in this video I'll show you how to create a simple react native application. So at first you need to search on google react native and press enter and open the first link. Uh, go to the get started button and here you can see all the comments. So now at the first comment it is npm. So you need to check the version of node and npm. So write node space double dash version and npm space double dash version to check uh, that uh, the npm or node is installed or not. And so uh, here the npm and node is installed successfully. So if you don't know how to do it, just go to my description section. It is given there. So copy the first command and paste it inside your terminal. And before that, just write sudo for root access and press enter. And it will take some time and okay now uh, scroll down and uh, uh, copy the next command and also open the directory where you want to save your react project so i want to save it here so i have opened this directory so so now uh, into that directory open your terminal and paste it here so you can see that the i have already opened uh, my terminal into that directory so i'm pasting it here so after pasting you need to wait for some time and it will take uh, more time depending on, on your uh, RAM memory and also on the internet speed. So wait for some time and you can see that the packages are fetching from the internet. So here it is and now just uh, enter into that directory on your uh, as your project name is uh, awesome project just write cd space awesome project uh, you may paste it here so you have entered to your project directory now you have to run the server so you just need to copy the npm start and paste it inside your terminal so here it is so I'm facing some problem here, I'm just trying it again. Okay. So after completion you will get this kind of screen. So from here you can copy the URL address and paste on your browser to check the app version, app name and also the LTK version and all the details of your applications so here uh, uh, then you need to run your application inside your android virtual device and so for this you need to switch to this tab and select linux or android for my operating system if you are using windows you can select that and so first you need to install npm uh, so first you need to copy that command and open the directory uh, file you have saved your project so open terminal there and paste it inside the terminal and also always before that just write sudo for root access so enter your password here and press enter and it will take some time and okay so now scroll down make sure that you have already installed jdk in your system that is the java development kit and now you have to install android studio so for android studio installation you need to search for google android studio and you will get the first link here and if you click on that you will get the download button of android studio and if you don't know how to download android studio you can check my uh, description it is given there so uh, now after uh, successful completion of installation of android studio uh, you need to install the all the sdk so for that you need to open android studio and switch uh, click on the sdk manager tab um, button that is the uh, here just on the right corner on the android studio so click on that and you need to download the sdk version of 23 that is given inside the react native browser and you can check uh, check the platform 23 is required here so you need to download the version api level of 23 here and i have already downloaded it so uh, you have to download it in your android studio so please click on the apply and ok button to download it in your android studio so now uh, you need to download also the virtual device 
for this you need to click on the run button uh, that is the green triangle button and i have already available three virtual devices if you don't have any virtual devices click on the create virtual devices and choose any of your phone application uh, any phone model and uh, for me i'm choosing just uh, pixel to excel and click on next and uh, here you have to download all the api level 23 version available here and from the recommended tab from the x86 tab and from the also from the other images tab tab so here uh, you have to download all the 23 version api level available here and you can see i have downloaded all the api level 23 version and now you need to click on next and then finish okay so here it is and now uh, one more thing you have to do that is uh, you need to copy that uh, uh, lines inside your dot bash underscore profile for some users it may be dot profile and it always varies os to os of linux os so now open the terminal by pressing ctrl alt and t and here in to check the files in your directory and open uh enter into the root directory write cd space slash and then cd space home and then ls and it is your home directory so just for now minimize that and go to your home directory and here you can see that the dot bash profile and also the dot profile is available here and if you don't see it just go to internet how to unhide these files inside ubuntu file system and you can always get into this okay now uh, for me uh, in the dot profile file uh, the configuration is available for me so i'm just copying the whole lines that if that has been given inside the react native uh if so just paste it uh, in the last part of your file and save it so close that file and now uh, you have to run one more command that is the source dollar home slash dot bash profile or you may uh, uh, just dot profile right okay so here I need to delete the okay sorry I need to copy the whole uh, command actually so just uh, copy the whole command here and paste it and press enter so now that's the thing of the stun so now here you can see that the pixel 2 excel device is available here so here you can see the android virtual device on your desktop and you have to run your application here so for this you need to copy the command of react native unit or some project so copy inside your terminal where you have created your project and inside your project directory just uh, you can see i have entered to my project directory you need to copy and paste it and press enter and wait for some time sorry i made a mistake here uh, not this command actually and to run the react native run android command so copy that and again uh, open uh, enter to that directory and paste there and enter so you can see that the your application your react native application is on your android virtual device and if you want to edit your application go to your file manager open the directory where you have saved your project that is uh, here is my project and open the app.js file that is the root.js file here 
so i'll to change the text first to see to show you that if the changes are happening there or not so i'm just writing his subscribers on the first line and on the second line uh that is the my channel name that is tech hacks so save it and close the file if you want to and go back to your android virtual device and you can see the changes there so you can see uh, on the virtual device your react native application so in this way you can install your react native application uh, and also run your react native application on android virtual device hope you have enjoyed this video please click on the subscribe and like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe us if you are a football fan don't forget to subscribe the daily fcp channel the link is in my description section